Hey, this is Professor Perez again. Today, we're going to work on an introduction to exponents. Of course, we can't get started without Charlie. He better be ready to go. Charlie, what are you doing over there? What are you on vacation or something? Take out a piece of paper and a pencil and get ready to go. We got to get started here. Today, we're doing introduction to exponents. Okay. Let's start with a review right here. Five times two, Charlie. What does that mean? Five plus five. Very nice. Five plus five. Which is equal to what? Ten. Ten. Okay. Now watch this, Charlie. Here we have a five with a little two up there, right? Well, in this situation, the five is considered to be the base. And the two up there, Charlie, is what we call the exponent. That's what we're going to be talking about. What does that exponent mean? Well, first of all, how do we say this? You can say it as 5 raised to the second power, Charlie. But 5 raised to the second power can be said differently because a number raised to the second power occurs quite often and we have a shortcut name. We call that 5 squared. So you can say it either way. 5 raised to the second power or simply 5 squared. Well, what we want to know now is what does it mean? Okay, Charlie. Remember, 5 times 2 meant 5 plus 5. 5 raised to the second power means 5 times 5. You see the difference? This one's 5 plus 5. That's 5 times 5. And what is 5 times 5, Charlie? 25. 25. Very nice here. Okay, so here we go. We have 2 times 4, and over here we'll put 2 raised to the fourth power. Now, Charlie, what does 2 times 4 actually mean? 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. Plus two. Very nice. Which is what? 8. 8, okay. Now, 2 raised to the fourth power, Charlie, what does that mean? 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. That's right, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Okay. Now, what does 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 equal, Charlie? 16? 16, very nice. So, 2 times 4 is 8. 2 raised to the fourth ends up being 16. Okay, let's do another one. 3 times 2, and over here we'll do 3 raised to the second power, or 3 squared. I'll call it 3 squared now. 3 times 2. What does it mean, Charlie? 3 plus 3. 3 plus 3, which is? 6. 6. Now, what does 3 squared mean, Charlie? 3 times 3. 3 times 3. That's very nice. And what does that equal? 9. 9. Very nice there, Charlie. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is look at this one. Don't get scared. It's x raised to the fifth power, Charlie. Just use the force, Charlie. What does it mean? X times X times X times X times That's X. That's right. It just means X times X times X times X times X. That's what it is. Okay? That's what it represents. Now, let's look at 3 to the 4th power, Charlie. What does it mean? 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Now, how do we calculate 3 times 3 times 3 times 3? Well, some people just go 3 times 3 is 9, 3 times 3 is 27, and 27 times 3... Well, then you get stuck. But we're going to bust out some Kung Fu. What? <laughs> Remember, when numbers are being all multiplied together, you can group them or multiply in any order. Here we're going to group them. We're going to bust out some Kung Fu. Watch. What's 3 times 3, Charlie? 9. That's 9. 3 times 3 is? 9. nine. Now what's 9 times 9? 81. 81 and that's it. See, some people remember 9 times 9 is 81. That's right. The answer is 81. Very nice there, Charlie. Let's move on. Right. That as a word statement. So in other words, how do you say that, I don't want to tell you the answer, that 2 with a little 3 up there. How do you say that? That is what? 2. Okay. Raised to the third. Raised to the third power. Very nice there, Charlie. That's 2 raised to the third power. But it has a shortcut name, right? How could you say it? 2 cubed. That's 2 cubed. Very nice there. Okay. Now let's go to this next one. There. Write that one. As a word statement. Charlie. Go ahead and say 6 raised to the 7th. Very nice there, Charlie. 6 raised to the 7th power. Very nice. Okay. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to have to look at what does it mean for an exponent to be equal to a 0? That's a tough one. We're in pre-algebra, and we're going to look at this from a pattern standpoint. Well, you'll see what I mean. Watch. 2 to the 4th. What does that mean, Charlie? 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Okay, which is equal to 16. Now, 
2 cubed means 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. 2 to the 4, or 2 squared, sorry, means 2 times 2, which is 4. 2 to the first power means you only have 1, 2, it's 2. Okay? Now the question is, what is 2 to the 0 power? Well, we have to look at a pattern. Now notice over there, Charlie, with those numbers. We have a, a 16, an 8, a 4, and a 2. What's going on? Cut in half? Okay, they're being cut in half. So if we continue the pattern, 6, what's half of 16? 8. 8, and what's half of 8? 4. 4, and what's half of 4? 2. 2. Well, what's half of 2? 1. It is 1. So basically what we're doing is we're dividing by 2. Simply because 2 is our base. We're losing a 2 every time. Okay? 16 divided by 8, I'm sorry, 16 divided by 2 is 8, 8 divided by 2 is 4, 4 divided by 2 is 2, and 2 divided by 2 is 1. And notice, with our pattern, we're seeing, hey, 2 to the 0 is equal to 1. So then, hmm, okay, let's try it with another base. Let's try it with a 3 now. 3 to the 4th means 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, which we just saw previously was 81. 3 to the third, or 3 cubed, means 3 times 3 times 3, which is 27. 3 squared is 3 times 3, which is 9. 3 to the first power is just a 3, which is 3. Now again, what is 3 to the 0? Well, if we look at our pattern here, we have 81, 27, 9, and 3. Well, I'll help you out here. 81 divided by 3 is 27. 27 divided by 3 is 9. 9 divided by 3 is 3. And if we continue the pattern here, we have base 3's. 3 divided by 3 is 1. And so again, we see 3 to the 0 is 1. So here we've done it with two different bases. And again, looking at the pattern, we've got the result of 1 whenever we raise to the 0 power. So if we redo it with a 4, I'll go very quickly through this one. We have 4 to the 4th, 4 cubed, 4 squared, 4 to the 1st, and again, what's 4 to the 0? Again, if we take a look at that pattern here, we are dividing by 4s, okay? Because every time we're losing a 4. And so 256 divided by 4 is 64, divided by 4 is 16, 16 divided by 4 is 4, and 4 divided by 4 is a 1. And so if you do this with any number, any base, positive or negative, you will always get 1 when you raise to the 0 power. So our conclusion is any number raised to the 0 power except 0 is equal to 1. It will not work with 0. Because notice, here we're dividing by 2's, here we're dividing by 3's, here we're dividing by 4's. We cannot divide by 0. So 0 to the 0 is undefined. That's the special case there. So any number raised to the zero power except zero is equal to one. So let's look at some other problems here. Two squared times two cubed. Two squared means two times two, and two raised to the third power means two times two times two. So how do we write five twos being multiplied to each other, Charlie? Two to the fifth. That's two to the fifth. Very nice. Okay. Now, what is two to the fifth, Charlie? Two times two is four, times two is eight, times two is sixteen, times two is three. What'd you get, Charlie? 32. 32. Very nice. Let's throw in some variables. x squared times x cubed. What does x squared mean, Charlie? x times x. x times x. What's x cubed? x times x times x. x times x times x. Now, how do you write 5x's being multiplied to each other? x to the fifth. x raised to the fifth. That's it. And now, don't get confused with this. This is 2x plus 3x. If you have two apples and somebody gives you three more apples, how many apples do you have, Charlie? Five apples. Five apples, that's right. So if you have two x's and somebody gives you three more x's, how many x's do you have, Charlie? Five x's. Five x's, that's right. Because 2x means x plus x, 3x means x plus x plus x, which is five x's. Five x's being added together is five times x. Anyway, that's it for now. We'll see you again soon. Whew.